everyone, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell because I'm sharing all kinds of content that's perfect for you here on this channel. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but we just had like a feather float by the camera a second ago. Um, that's what I was looking at. And so that is an extra message for you guys that your angels are with you, that you are supported. So maybe some of you Aries have been calling on your angels more, asking for help, asking for signs from your angels. And that is absolutely one. Feathers are absolutely a sign from the angels. So I hope that you receive that message with love. Today, we're gonna dive into your January 2020. What do you need to know as you are starting off this new year? We're gonna dive into my angel deck with a couple other decks that I'm gonna incorporate as well. So we are going to dive right in to your messages for January. The first cards that I pulled here are theme cards for this month, okay? So here we have the Page of Air. So the Page of Air is all about receiving information that you need to receive but maybe you don't like the information that you receive. Or maybe you don't like the way that in which the message was delivered. Or maybe you don't like the person who delivered the message. This is a message to pay attention to the message, even if you don't like it, even if it's not what you wanted to hear, even if you don't like who delivered it, even if you don't like the way in which it was delivered, maybe it was, um, you know, said too harshly or too directly, or it just made you uncomfortable in some way. Listen to the message anyway because there's something really important here. And of course, use your intuition. If something doesn't quite feel right, honor that as well. But I always say, whenever somebody is passing along a message to you, take what makes sense to you and leave the rest. But try to hear the messages because the universe speaks through all people and someone may have something to share with you that's difficult to hear or you just don't like it in some way, but it's so important for you to hear it anyway and for you to process the message that has been delivered for you. And the other theme card that we have pulled here for you is from my archetype cards and this is the Messiah card, okay? So this card itself says serving humanity with humility. This is about serving, okay? So you may find yourself this month feeling called to serve. You may find yourself feeling called to do good things for other people. You are encouraged to follow that feeling because that is going to invite in some beautiful energy into your life. That opens you up to receive all kinds of amazing things, but even better, it allows you to live a more purposeful life. It allows you to live a life of service. And this is so important, especially in this energy that we have just stepped into, to really think about humanity as a whole and think about other people outside of ourselves and think about doing good and thinking about living in our purpose. So you're really encouraged to follow anything that you feel called to do in regard to helping other people, being of service. Of course, don't totally burn yourself out. You want to make sure that you have balance with that, but also making sure that you are honoring that because that's really important. The next card that we have here is the challenges that you might expect through this month. Okay, so we have the Ace of Fire. So the Ace of Fire, this is interesting showing up in your challenges uh, section. Okay, what this is saying to me is that you have an exciting new opportunity coming through. This is in regard probably to work, career, or life's work, you know, living your most purposeful life, whether you get paid for it or not, okay? So something new, a new opportunity is coming in, but I feel like you might look at that and either not quite feel ready for this opportunity, doubt your ability to handle it, or you might look at it and feel like this is too good to be true, or, doubt it in some way, but understand that this opportunity that's coming through is important and necessary for you and see it as a gift. Allow it to be the gift that it is and accept it. Sometimes magical things happen. Sometimes things do come easily. You know, when we're in the right energy, when we've been doing our work, when we've been setting our intentions, sometimes amazing things show up for us, but sometimes we get so overwhelmed with either not feeling ready or doubting our own ability to handle it or again, thinking that it's too good to be true, that we push away miracles that are trying to come into our life. Don't push away the miracles that are trying to come into your life. Don't doubt yourself. Um, don't overthink it. If it feels right, if it feels good, if it feels exciting, if it feels like what you've been manifesting, then take it. The next card that we have here is 
the gifts that you can expect through this month, okay? So here we have the Hermit card reversed. I feel like you are going to be spending a lot of time in solidarity. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in your own energy. And you may feel really pulled to um, seek out other people or um, to be more social, but you really are gonna be forced one way or the other to spend time in your own energy. So don't fight it, just allow it. I think that it's going to be really important for you. And I think that a lot of clarity and a lot of important insights are gonna be coming through this for you. So again, don't fight it. Again, don't avoid it. Some people, you know, have a difficult time with quiet, have a difficult time being just in their own energy. You're encouraged to do it anyway. You're encouraged to allow whatever's trying to come through to come through. And it's only going to come through if you can allow yourself to get away a little bit, to have a little bit of time and energy, even if it's 10 minutes that you go for a walk by yourself, or, you know, you take a little bit of quiet time for yourself, whatever you can allow for yourself in your life, you are encouraged to allow that because there are some amazing gifts that are coming with that. Now, the next card that we have here are the lessons that you are going to be learning here through this month. And we have the seven of earth card okay so the seven earth card is about patience and faith this is saying you've done a really good job of planting seeds so trust that any pause that you're experiencing and you probably will be experiencing some pauses a little bit trust that any pauses that you're experiencing are temporary trust that these seeds that you have planted will ultimately grow and i see you know just looking at your spread here so much opportunity for you i don't even feel like you're gonna have to wait and i almost feel like i don't want to say like it's in your head but it kind of feels like it is any any pause any setbacks any anything that you're getting stuck on or feeling stuck with is either just kind of leftover stuff that you're almost on the other side of or um, it, it's kind of in your head and it's some way that you're self-sabotaging or some way that you're holding yourself back. So ask yourself that. Am I self-sabotaging? Am I holding myself back here? What am I doing to prevent progress? But then also allow the progress to come. Accept it. Allow these things that you have planted to actually sprout. Sometimes when the change starts to happen, we get scared and we shut down. Allow yourself to not shut down. Allow yourself to flow with the changes and opportunities that are coming in because you are going on a new journey here with this dreamer card, okay? And the advice is, allow yourself to follow the opportunities that are showing up for you unexpected opportunities again opportunity 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 is huge for you unexpected opportunities coming in and you are going to probably require be required to take some kind of a leap of faith it might be a small leap of faith it might be a big leap of faith as long as your intuition is saying now is the time I think that you go for it but I think that it's going to be more about responding to opportunities that actually show up for you and you just need to not be too scared to take them and then finally, in the what else section here with these cards, we have the Page of Fire reversed, okay? So the Page of Fire, again, is about new opportunities, probably in regard to work, life's work, living in our purpose, um, the things that we do here on this planet, okay? New opportunities are coming in. Do not fight them. them. Do not push them away. Do not let fear prevent you from allowing them into your life. Do not be your own worst enemy here. You really want to make sure that you're allowing this in. You really want to make sure that you um, aren't overlooking the wonderful opportunities that are trying to come to you. I feel like you guys have been stuck as Aries for kind of a while. And um, I remember doing your yearly one and, it, and it's like, you know, things are just going to kind of come. And it's almost like you don't even have to do a lot of work. And I almost feel like it's like, well, but I didn't do a lot of work and I, you know, I didn't do anything to deserve that or whatever. Let the opportunities come anyway. Whatever it is that you're telling yourself about that, if it feels good, if it feels exciting, go for it. Take that leap of faith. Let yourself go with it. And again here, the last card that I have here is the new opportunity card. I mean, I, I, I can't make this stuff up obviously you have new stuff coming into your life and it may be in regard to your work your life's work what you do here on this planet or it might be in regard to other things you know depending on your individual chart but some new stuff is coming let yourself be open don't get stuck in your old ways don't get stuck in this rut that maybe you've been feeling yourself in let the new 
come in. So those are your messages for this month for January 2020. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity Bay Christy. If you guys didn't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure that you do that to help support the channel. And also, I would love to see you like this video if you liked it and hear from you in comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care guys.